you out there really thank the Lord for being alive today. Listen. People join in. Hi to my Facebook family. Hi to my Instagram family. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Testify Tuesday. We're not going to be before you long this evening. This is a quick word. Hi, Marty God's daughter. <laughs> How are you, my cruise friend? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Lady Brown. Hi, Crystalline. When you guys come on, please like and share. Like and share, please. I took it old school today. I am a living testimony. How many people know that they are a living testimony? Amen. Amen. Yes. Remember to like and share, please. I appreciate it. Like and share. We won't be before you long this evening. We're going to get in, get out. Hey. Hi, Anthony. How are you? How you doing? Ah, I see my God baby joining us today. Hey, Miss Beverly. Hello, hello. Marcus, I see you with our Instagram family. Hello. Yes. So quickly, while we're letting the song play, if you want to get your pants, get your papers, you know, go ahead. You know how we do. After you like and share, go ahead and just... Uh, put something in the comments that you're grateful for. Glad to know you're okay, Anthony. I'm doing wonderful. I am doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Go ahead, everybody. Just go ahead. In the comments, just one thing that you're happy about. One thing that you can testify. I thank and praise God. If it's just because you're alive, if it's just because you're in your right mind, if it's because you made it to work and back with no car accidents, with no hurt, harm, nor danger, whatever it may be, just put something in the comments. I thank God for this. I see over on our, with our Instagram family, see Marty God's daughter says, I'm grateful for my relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. We all are grateful for that. That's right. Because without Jesus, where would we be? That relationship is so important. It's so beautiful. Uh, please like and share. I forgot I didn't send out any invites. Let me try to send a few invites really quickly to get some people on. Yes, I'm still alive. Thank you, Jesus. I'm still alive. See, I can sit right here and go up. I don't, now, don't get me wrong because you know some people will use any excuse to say they don't need to go to church. I, I follow the word of God and he tells me that I need to get together and worship with my brothers and sisters. I love fellowshipping in the sanctuary. I love coming into God's house, but right in my own house, in my car, anywhere that I am, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me. I cannot help 
but praise and thank God and tell him, I am so grateful. If you knew, if you knew, you don't know my story. Some of you know pieces, bits and pieces, but I am so grateful that the Lord saw fit to protect me when I was unsaved, to keep me when I was unsaved, to, to direct me back into his will, to keep me sheltered under him, to keep the angels encamped around me as I go, as I came, even though I was not doing what I was supposed to do, even though I wasn't doing what he told me and called me to do, he still protected me. He still loved me. He still poured into me. He still watched out for me. He still provided for me. He still directed my path hallelujah and he didn't have to so when i tell you i am a living testimony we all are praise the lord i just had to give god praise for his awesomeness i'm <coughs> his he, he's mighty in my life he really is and i thank and praise god for him daily I thank you all for sharing Facebook family. We are also now sharing with our Instagram family on Instagram. So it's your preference, whichever way you would like to join testify Tuesday. For those of you who this is your first time coming in, this is something we do every week, <coughs> excuse me, every Tuesday we meet here and tell of the goodness of the Lord. Sometimes we do have guests. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me, most of the time we have guests, but I wasn't sure how I was going to do this, but the Lord spoke to me today and made it clear. Sometimes you have to wait on the Lord and wait for him to answer. You can't rush him, you know, and he, he does everything in his own time. He does everything perfectly. So he did let me know we will have guests every uh, Tuesday except one, one Tuesday out of every month we will do a delving into testimony until God says differently. That's what we're going to do. So tonight, briefly, very briefly, we're going to go into the word and just see what the Lord says the role of the testimony is. Now, for all of you who are new or, or don't remember, if you have a testimony that you want to share, if you have a testimony that you want to share, you have a choice. If you don't want to come on and be a guest, you can go to my website, www.feliciajoseph.com, F-A-L-I-C-I-A-J-O-S-E-P-H, uh, Crystalline's going to kill me, I forgot to pin it, um, dot com, and click on um, contact us and one of the links is testify Tuesday so you just go in there and on testify Tuesday you write in and let me know that you know you can write your testimony in email form and s submit it right there for me to read on the show um, there is no well I call it a show but on the live so there is no um, problem you're not required to have to come on and speak to me back and forth you can if you want to but if you just have a testimony ringing in you can go to the website leave it there and I will read it online okay so quickly we're gonna deal with one of the roles of the testimony today because I don't want to be too long. It's just one that we're going to go into today. And what that is, is the testimony of the believer is basically simply a reference. Let's think about that for a minute. What I want you to do while we're thinking, I want you to write in your comments on Instagram. You guys write me some comments on Facebook. Write me some comments in the comment line. I just want you to simply type, use your references, use your references. That's going to be the theme of what we're talking about tonight. The testimony is simply a reference. So go ahead. I want to see those comments. Just simply type in, use your references. Amen. Hey, sis. Hey, Kira. Uh, now, what we're going to do, why we say it's the, a reference, let's ask. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is someone, let's say you don't know me. Let's say you're not familiar with me, but I come to you and say, oh girl, go see Boniqua over there. Go see Boniqua. She is really, really good. She can, she can, uh, hook you up real good. She can do your hair real good. I heard that she's very good. I heard that she's the best in her field. I heard that, you know, all of her customers are satisfied. If I tell you that, and I'm saying, I heard, I heard, I heard, would you believe that? 
Or would you believe more when I say, hey, look, I went and got laid. Boniqua over there on third did this. You see, she got me straight. She got me laced. Would you believe that better? Because I'm telling you, not just something that I heard, but something that I experienced for myself. Something that happened to me. I am telling you from personal experience. You understand what I mean? So a testimony simply is a reference of what the Lord has done in our lives, what the Lord has done for us. All right. So if you're just coming in, please like, please share. And in the comment section, I want you to put what I guess will be the theme of this live. Use your references. Just type that in. All right. So we have a few scriptures that prove to us that testimonies are basically just a reference. I can tell you Jesus saved, but I can show you how he saved me. I can tell you I heard how Jesus healed Lily over there, but I can tell you how he healed me, how my mind was almost gone, but now I'm in my right mind, how I, I, I used to think off, had, had suicidal thoughts or, or whatever you did, whatever was going on in your mind, but the Lord delivered you, helped you. And that is your testimony. I'm not just telling you something I heard. And I know I made this for the, for the sisters, but brothers, if you know, you need a lineup, you know, you need a shape up. You know, you want to get that hair done and you know, cause sisters, they just as vain as us sometimes. Let me tell you, if you know the, the goatee, you want to get shaped up right. And you don't want them to take too much off the bottom or make it too, too thin on the side. You want to keep your shape. You have to go to a barber that you trust. Now let's say me as a woman have no facial hair, but I'm gonna come and say, Oh, I heard that Billy Joe over there. He do real good. How many of you men would look at me like I was <laughs> like I was crazy? But if I had my brother or my cousin or my nephew or or or, or my 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 in, anybody any my uncle with me and say, look, look and see what Billy Joe did for him. Billy Joe did his hair, did his line, did his, got him shaped up and has him looking good. That's what I'm saying. So when you get up and you tell your testimony, don't take that lightly. You are the mouthpiece that is spreading what the power of the Lord Jesus Christ has done in your life, can do in someone else's life. Okay, so we're going to go with a few scriptures really quick and I'm almost done. I tell you, I don't, I don't say more than what the Lord says. That's what he gave me to share. So that's what we're going to do. So here we go with the scriptures. Scripture number one, we're, we're going to go to um, Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 10. So that's Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 10. And this I'm reading from the new international version, just in case it sounds a little, you know, not as, um, in the old text language, I am going to read it from the new international version. So Jeremiah, uh, 51 10 simply says the Lord has vindicated us. Come, let us tell in Zion what the Lord, our God has done. The Lord has vindicated us. Now, you know, sometimes as we all say, vengeance is mine. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. We like to say that, but truly that's what the Lord says. And when you have been vindicated by the Lord, it is a feeling that you, I mean, you cannot express it. To have someone have your back, to have someone that is going to support you, stand up for you, fight for you, go to war for you, battle for you. You know, siblings have it, parents and children have it, but to know nobody can vindicate you like the Lord. If you are falsely accused, if you are, are you know, people are saying bad things about you, talking about you negatively, don't worry. The Lord will vindicate you, but you know what? You have to use that reference. You have to use that reference. If you find a sister or a brother who's down, who's going through it, who's like, I don't know why they don't like me. I don't know why they're talking negative about me. Honey, the devil will use anything. You don't think they talk about me? They talk about me. Like one of the li one of the pictures uh, that my admins have put out, it simply says, when I was able to stop listening to what they were saying about me, I was able to clearly hear 
what the Lord was saying to me, the devil will use all sorts of distractions to come at you, men and women of God. He will. He will use anything. So if you see your brother and sister and they're down and they're out and they're downtrodden, you can tell them, once I was there too, once I dealt with that too, once I went through that too, but the Lord vindicated me. The Lord lifted me up. The Lord had my back. The Lord did this for me because why? Because I am his child. That's right. So that's what I'm saying. Again, use your references. All right. We're almost done. That was scripture number one. Now we're going to go. I only have uh, about four scriptures. So let's go to scripture number two. And scripture number two is going to be. Psalms 35 and 28. Psalms 35 and 28. And we're almost done. Psalms 35 and 28 says, My tongue will speak of your righteousness and of your praises all day long. You know, sometimes it might not even be that we are meant to just get up and Oh, I thank and praise the Lord for being here. I thank God for my life, my health, my strength, giving honor to the Lord, the pastor, the first lady, the missionaries, Dinkin, saints, friends, missionaries. No, that's not the only testimony. Sometimes when you think of how good God has been to you and that just comes out of you and that pours out of your spirit and before you know it you are telling of the goodness of the Lord even if it's you know last month I had no idea how I was gonna pay this bill that popped up I had everything done I thought I was you know taken care of for the month I thought everything was good but then all of a sudden this emergency popped up I went outside and my tire blew I had to buy a brand new tire for my car I thought I had it handled I thought I had it budgeted for the month but now I need to buy a tire else I can't get to work I didn't know how this was gonna happen I didn't know how I was gonna make do but the Lord made a way out of no way the Lord increased that number that was in my bank account the Lord let sister Toefoot or sister, whoever bless me because they just felt they said that the Lord laid it on their heart to be a blessing to me and they blessed me. Little did they know their obedience became my testimony because the Lord made a way. You get what I'm saying? You see, God is amazing. He's an on time God. He's a miracle working God. He's an all wise God. He is a God that will meet the need and supply for his people. Amen. Remember, what you got to type in that message? Use your references. All right. That was scripture number two. Now for scripture number three, we're going to go to Psalms 26 and 7. Psalms 26 and 7. But uh, for this one, I'm going to start at verse 6 and go into 7. It says, I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord. Now, this is verse 7, proclaiming aloud your praise and telling of all your wondrous deeds. Amen. So all you have to do is tell of the goodness of the Lord. Use that reference. Use that reference. That's right. Hallelujah. All right. Now, my last one, my last scripture, um, I'm going to hold off for a minute because I just have to tell y'all. You have no idea how big something that you find little is to someone else. You have no idea. So if you want to tell of how good the Lord has been to you and you think, oh, they're tired of hearing that or, oh, I told that to them before or, oh, I say that same thing all the time. Honey, I've been telling you that I've been saved ever since I've been saved. Does that make me any less saved? Does it make it any less true? There is an unbeliever somewhere who knew me when. You understand? There are people that will probably eventually see me online, see me places that knew me when. Knew me when I was unsaved. Knew me when I was partying. Knew me when I wasn't thinking about Jesus. No how, no way. And they knew that person. And they'll get to see me now where I can tell them I've been changed. I've been washed. I've been redeemed. I've been, you know, transformed through the blood of Jesus. I am no longer that person. I am no longer living in sin. I am striving for better. I am striving to see Jesus 
when he cracks the sky or when I die, whichever one happens first, you know, so a lot of times don't sit and think that you tell the same testimony over and over. Do you know how many people there are in the world? Do you? Do you have any idea how many people there are in the world? Instagram, Facebook, any idea? So there is no way that if you tell the same testimony everywhere you go, there is someone new who will hear it one time or another. You understand what I'm saying? So don't start getting discouraged thinking, oh, I said that before. Uh-uh. I wake up every morning to brand new mercies. Brand new. <laughs> Twana, I hope I pronounced that right. Yes, a whole bunch of people. A whole bunch. So every morning I wake up. Every breath that I take, that first breath that we inhale every morning, that's a new mercy from God. That's not the same breath we took the morning before. Yes, we're still breathing, but we're breathing new air. We're breathing new air. We're enjoying new time, new grace, new mercy, new chances to make new references to share with the masses. Amen? Amen. Use your references. Now, the last one I'm going to use is Titus. We're going to go into the New Testament now. Titus 3. Verses three through seven, those will be, that will be the last one, Titus three, verses three through seven. And the word of the Lord says, at one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. Type that in, guys. His mercy. Yes. But because of his mercy, he saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. Let me tell you something that made me just want to get up and run around this condo to think of how I was to think you know how they say all unrighteousness is as filthy rags to the Lord now just think have you ever had a dish rag that you might have left in some water and it got a little smelly you know how we do uh you know how we are women when we come in and and men when we go into the the kitchen and we smell that odor first thing mm, whoo Woo, child, good Lord, Jesus, what's going on? You know, we do this. Imagine that nasty, dirty smelling dish rag. That's what unrighteousness is like to our father. Think about that. So when we were living in unrighteousness, when unrighteousness was where we dwelled, we weren't thinking about doing anything different. We weren't thinking about changing our ways. We were sinners God still loved us enough to not let us die in our sins do you see how big that is the Lord could have cut us off in our sins before we were able to ask for forgiveness before we were able to say I'm trying to keep time okay we're doing good we have five minutes before we were able to um Say, Lord, forgive me before we were able to get it together and realize how dangerous of a situation we were living in. But he didn't. His grace and his mercy kept us. His grace and his mercy kept us until we came to our senses and yelled, Lord, what must I do to be saved? Do you know how many unsaved people there are out in the world? That may be hearing that testimony. There's one thing. We are living in the last and evil day. And there are people that the Lord is dealing with. 
He's tugging on heartstrings. He's calling people to him. It said in the last day he would do so. So there are people that are in that struggle between wanting to live right, but fearing letting go of what they know, the known, thinking, you know, that change is a little too hard. We have those people, but there are a lot of us who can give our testimonies and just hearing what we used to do. But when we turned it over to Jesus, he made everything beautiful. So just telling that testimony will help to bring others to Christ. So we went over one role of the testimony tonight. And what was that? Let me see some. Let me see some comments. What was the role, the one role of the testimony we went over tonight? Instagram, Facebook, what was it? What was it? I mean, you can't even go get a job at McDonald's without this these days. And they need several of them. They need several of them. References. That's right. Use your reference. Now, the, the, the employers will ask you. They need business reference and professional references and personal references. Honey, our soul salvation. We have so many references. So many references of the goodness and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Use your references. Get into your references. Learn what your references are and share them with your sisters and brothers. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming in and sharing. Please, I ask you, if you have not yet visited my website, please visit the website www.feliciajoseph.com go ahead and hit the subscribe button and leave me your name and your email address this will give me time i won't be sending you random emails just for every little thing but if i will be in your area when the cd is releasing when things are going to happen if there are concerts or um speaking engagements in your area i can keep you abreast of them so that's all i'm asking with that now i ask you we did testify tuesday um this week at 6 50 because i have to go at 7 30 i have an interview and i ask you all if you can to please log on to facebook live and listen to that it's going to be with pastor g and lady c on um give god the glory broadcast on we praise radio all right so that's where i'm heading off to remember join me here next week for testify tuesday at 7 p.m where our guest will be serena re green you do not want to miss this powerful woman of god when i tell you she has a testimony that will touch you that will just have you thanking God for how great and wonderful he is. So meet me here, 7 o'clock on Facebook and on Instagram next week for Testify Tuesday. We have great guests coming in the month of March. Powerful women of God. Okay? Remember to reach out to me if you want to come on to the broadcast with me. God bless you. I thank you all. Pick up that single just for me if you haven't yet. Pick it up in Jesus' name and be blessed. God bless you all. Bye-bye.